Managing acid reflux is like playing strategic chess with our eating habits. A wrong move can trigger stomach conflicts as certain food sneakily induces excess stomach acid. This acid can travel up, causing the infamous heartburn. To manage this, grasp the dietary triggers and their effects on digestion. While occasional heartburn is common and harmless, reoccurring cases more than twice a week for weeks, despite medication may be gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD, needing medical attention. Don't delay seeking help to prevent potential complications. Why does acid reflux occur? Acid reflux occur when the lower esophageal sphincter (LES), a small door-like structure in the stomach, becomes less effective or weakened. Ordinarily, its role is to tightly seal after eating, ensuring that everything remains in its proper place. There are instances when it becomes relaxed at inappropriate times, enabling stomach contents to flow back up into the throat. How can heartburn be distinguished from heart attack? That burning or painful sensation in the chest is commonly referred to as heartburn. Despite its name, it's important to know that heartburn isn't connected to the heart even though it occurs in the same general area which can be a bit confusing. It's crucial to understand that heartburn is distinct from a heart attack. Heartburn is characterized by an irritating, burning or painful feeling that originates in the chest and can be extended up to the neck and throat. On the other hand, a heart attack presents with really different symptoms. It can cause discomfort in your arms, neck, and jaw, and individuals might experiencing difficulty breathing, excessive sweating, feelings of nausea, dizziness, extreme fatigue, and heightened anxiety. Here's a critical point to remember. If you are taking heartburn medication and still experiencing chest pain in conjunction with these additional symptoms that are more indicative of a heart attack, it's pivotal not to delay seeking medical assistance. It's always better to prioritize safety and seek prompt medical attention if there's any uncertainty about the situation. Let's delve into the impact of high-fat foods on your digestion and how can they exacerbate acid reflux. High-fat food can disrupt your digestive process, leading to worsened acid reflux. This occurs due to the difficulty of your stomach encounters in breaking down fatty acids. Unlike lean foods, fatty foods linger in your stomach for a longer period. This extended stay prompts your stomach to stretch and become pressurized, akin to inflating a balloon. However, instead of air, it's filled with food and stomach juices. Next time you're considering indulging in a greasy fried delicacy or a fatty steak, it's worth remembering that such choices could potentially trigger problems in your stomach. Opting for leaner protein sources and favoring grilled or steamed foods may contribute to a happier digestive system. Citrus Juices and Fruits Citrus juices and fruits, while often associated with health benefits due to their vitamin C content and vibrant appearance, can pose challenges for individuals dealing with acid reflux. These fruits can turn into a source of digestive discomfort for those affected by acid reflux, largely due to their high citric acid content. Even though a refreshing glass of freshly squeezed orange juice might bring a sense of delight, individuals susceptible to acid reflux should consider seeking out fruits with lower acidity or diluting their citrus juice with water. These actions can help mitigate the potential for digestive issues stemming for the high citric acid content. Spicy Foods The fiery sensation you experience from capsaicin, the active compound in chili peppers and spicy foods, does more than just wake up your taste buds. Consuming spicy foods, whether they're intensely hot curries or tangy hot sauces, can actually exacerbate your acid reflux symptoms. This connection is due to capsaicin's effects on the body. Capsaicin has a way of stimulating the stomach, leading to an increase in acid production. This uptick in stomach acid production contributes to the worsening of acid reflux symptoms. A study documented in the Journal of Neurogastroenterology and Motility explored this phenomenon. It revealed that capsaicin can weaken the lower esophageal sphincter LES muscle, which ultimately result in acid reflux. However, capsaicin doesn't stop there. It has the potential to irritate the throat and cause inflammation, particularly if acid reflux has already compromised the protective lining of the throat. While spicy foods might provide an intense heat sensation in your stomach, it's important to recognize that they can also generate discomfort within your stomach. Opting for milder flavors or incorporating spices like turmeric and ginger, known for their anti-inflammatory properties, might be a better approach if you're grappling with acid reflux. By making these choices, you can help manage your potential aggravation of your symptoms. Alcohol 
Alcohol, despite its various roles in your social interactions, may not be the best companion if you're dealing with acid reflux. Alcohol's impact on digestion is twofold, and these effects can be detrimental for those struggling with acid reflux. <laughs> to begin, alcohol has the tendency to relax the lower esophageal sphincter (LES) muscle. This relaxation of the LES muscle can result in acid reflux, a discomforting experience we're already familiar with. Additionally, alcohol prompts your stomach to increase its production of stomach acid, thereby intensifying the overall acidic environment. A study conducted by Oxford University in 2019 aggregated and analyzed various research findings, concluding that excessive alcohol consumption can indeed elevate the risk of developing gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD. Thus, while a pleasant glass of wine might appear to be treat, it may not align well with the needs of your stomach. In efforts to maintain a contented digestive system, scaling back on alcohol consumption or opting for non-alcoholic beverage choices might be beneficial considerations. Next is caffeinated drinks. Caffeinated drinks, the go-to source of energy for many of us through coffee and tea, possess a noteworthy aspect that extends beyond waking us up. Caffeine, found not only in these energizing beverages but also in chocolate and alcohol, has the capacity to relax the lower esophageal sphincter (LES) muscle. When the LES becomes overly relaxed, it paves the way for heartburns to occur. Furthermore, caffeine signals your stomach to increase its production of stomach acid. Research even suggests that even consuming small amounts of coffee can potentially lead to problems with acid reflux. However, the good news is that you needn't abandon your beloved morning coffee ritual entirely. Opting for decaffeinated or milder coffee alternatives could be worth exploring. Additionally, herbal teas without caffeine offers a cozy and reflux-friendly option. In essence, you have various choices available to maintain your energy levels without inviting repercussions of acid reflux. Next is onions and garlic. The delectable flavors of onion and garlic, which add delightful taste to dishes around the world, can unfortunately result in a less than pleasant aftermath for individuals dealing with acid reflux. These flavorful ingredients, particularly when consumed in their raw form, have the potential to worsen acid reflux symptoms. An investigation published in Therapeutic Advances in Chronic Disease revealed that consuming raw onions can increase the frequency of reflux episodes and prolong the duration of GERD symptoms. The underlying reason behind this lies in the ability of onions and garlic to weaken the lower esophageal spinster LES muscle. However, there's no need to despair as you don't need to bid farewell to all rich flavors. While the prospect of parting with onions and garlic may seem like a significant culinary loss, there's an array of herbs and spices that can come to the rescue. Ingredients like thyme, basil, and oregano can still infuse your dishes with exceptional taste without inviting the trouble of reflux. Last but not the least, tomatoes. Let's discuss tomatoes. Found in numerous dishes and universally enjoyed, they might not be ideal for those with acid reflux. These versatile items, technically fruits, are highly acidic, exacerbating acid reflux. Tomato-based foods, including salsas, pizzas, and pasta sauces, can relax the LES muscle, triggering heartburn. The acidity of tomatoes can also intensify stomach acid. However, there's no need to avoid tomatoes altogether. Instead, opt for alternatives like pesto or creamy white sauces. Incorporating fresh vegetables like cucumbers and leafy greens can balance your meal, preserving flavors while reducing acid reflux risk. How can acid reflux symptoms be prevented? Here are tips to manage acid reflux. Number 1. Maintain a healthy weight. Number 2. Offer frequent smaller meals instead of large ones. Number three, reduce fatty foods like butter, oils, and full fat dairy. Number four, sit upright while eating for 45 to 60 minutes afterward. Number five, avoid bedtime eating, allow three hours after meals before sleeping. Number six, loose feeding clothes to prevent stomach pressure. Number eight, elevate your bed's head by six to eight inches for better sleep. Number nine, quit smoking. Number 10, Follow doctor's instruction for acid-reducing medication. Remember these tips can help control symptoms but individual reactions vary. Consult the doctor for GERD concerns or health issues. And that's it! Thank you for watching this video. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.